when I started my fitness journey two years ago, I knew that everything was going to change. My life was going to change, you know, my habits, everything. But I didn't know how. I just knew it was going to change. But I never thought that it would be like this. I never thought that it would change as much as it has. Um, and I want to talk about some of the things that I've changed in my life going from looking like that to looking like this. The first thing is pretty obvious, but I'm going to dive in deep into it. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel so much better, not just about your body, but about life, about your goals, about everything. Becoming fit, becoming healthy has this effect of transmitting into every other aspect of your life and the skills you learn from sticking to a transformation like that you can transfer into pretty much anything and when I started my fitness journey I knew that I was going to feel better the more weight that I lost but until you do it until you get to a point where you're sort of happy with your physique you don't realize how good that feeling is it's nowhere close to as good as I imagined it to be because when I started, I didn't know what it would feel like. But now that I'm here, it feels amazing. It's like a natural high being healthy, being lean, having a good physique. It's just, I don't know what it is about it, but it just drives you. And it's not just, it has nothing to do with the physical aspect. It's all about how you feel with yourself. You just feel so good about everything, not just about how you look. But relationships, friendships, you make good habits that translate into every other aspect of your life. And you're going to cut off people in the process. That's a good thing. You're going to change your habits. You're going to give up things. Something's wrong about that. You're healthy now. That's all that matters. And you've created good habits out of bad habits. And that's one of the first things that I've noticed as I sort of got deeper and deeper into my fitness journey is that I felt better and better. And I know that everyone says you're going to feel better. You're going to feel much healthier. But how? What does that exactly mean? Are you just going to feel good that you're healthy? No. It's something beyond that. It's just a, f it's a natural high. That's the best way that I can put it. You're just more optimistic about everything. You, When I was in the phase that I was in when I started this fitness journey... I had a lot of negative thoughts, but that was also because I was smoking a lot of weed. I was addicted and that was one of the first things that I had to give up because I knew that it was the more that I thought that I could stop whenever I wanted to. No, I couldn't. So you, you're forced to create good habits. You're forced to get rid of bad habits when you're serious about the fitness journey. And that's what I did. I had to give up smoking weed. There was no way that I could smoke weed and continue my fitness journey because that's how I gained all that weight in the first place by smoking weed every day and eating no exercise no nothing so I knew that I had to give that up and in doing that in creating good habits you create a good state of mind you're more optimistic about everything you feel good about the future and I always tell everyone you have to have goals beyond fitness of course you have your fitness goals you want to look good but you need something else that drives you in life. A business or work or anything that drives you, anything that you're passionate about. Start it. Start a side hustle. Start something. Because you're going to get so much drive, so much energy by going on this fitness journey that you need, you create so much good habits that you can really create something meaningful on the side. And I, I highly recommend starting something. Do what you're passionate about. Start that side hustle. Start a business. Because a lot of the things that you learn, delayed gratification through this fitness journey, you're going to put in. You're going to put in the discipline that you've learned. You're going to put in the hard work, the hard work ethic, everything. Put it to good use. Create a future for yourself. The gym isn't everything. But you, how you feel, is everything. The second thing that I've sort of, this came at me like a ton of bricks and this was night and day difference is the amount of attention that you get. And I've always been big. I've always gymmed. I mean, I've been training for 10 years and I've 
gone from skinny to lean to chubby to skinny to uh, I've looked I've gone through pretty much every phase but now that I'm at a physique that I'm happy with after 10 years of training the attention that you get is just insane and of course from girls but it's not just girls from everyone just I it's insane it really is and you notice it because I've gone from looking a certain way to looking like this I know what the difference is I feel like a different person it's like you wake up and you're a new person but a much better version you like I feel like the version of me right now is me like my personality has stayed the same but how I envisioned myself my whole life is how I am now because I've always wanted a good body and I sort of have that now and I feel like I am the best version of myself and I'm only I'm, I'm only getting better and I think that that's what everyone should strive towards being the best version of yourself but coming back to the point the attention is just you really notice it you really notice it the way people treat you the respect that you get just to, just by the way you look everywhere is just night and day difference and it's fun it is fun and obviously you you get attention you get attention from girls but you have to sort of understand why you're doing this and this comes back to my first point delayed gratification all these things the attention it's once you're in a healthy place once you have a good physique a lean working out it's always going to be there and that's when you get to choose do you want to give in i mean it's nice to have attention but what is it doing you know it's superficial especially when i'm come from looking like this to this you notice how superficial everything is i mean you're still the same person it's just the way that you look has changed but that changes everything the way you look changes everything so sort of understand that this attention it's nice but it doesn't mean anything i mean it goes to show you the hard work you've put in to your body into training eating right but apart from that it's just purely based on how you look your physique and i know that that says a lot about you the amount of hard work you put in but i don't know it's just it's it's sort of hard to explain what i'm trying to say what i'm trying what's in my mind but i feel like it's really easy to give in to that attention and i mean you can if you want but i'm just not that type of person delayed gratification and i think this really applies this really takes on to every other aspect of your life putting in the work now so the results in the future will be much more meaningful the physique that i have now i didn't create this physique the old me did the me from 2 years ago put in the work and the work that he put in i'm enjoying now the work that i put in back then dieting training hard i'm enjoying the fruits of it right now and i feel the same with everything same with relationships like you put in the work into a relationship something meaningful it's it's worth it it's much more worth it in the future than you know anything that's just casual anything that gives you instant gratification so i am a relationship type of guy i would rather put in more work more effort into something that's more meaningful and you have these generations that are into the whole hookup culture i don't understand it it is a pure example of instant gratification because yeah it feels good in the moment hooking up but what where is that leading what is that leading to is it just you're giving into your urges you're giving into your desires and for me in my honest opinion i'm not saying that this is bad or anything but i just feel like it's it's a waste of time it's a waste of energy waste of effort that you could be putting into something else something more meaningful putting the work now putting the work into something more meaningful and that's i guess you sort of have to 
you're going to get a lot of attention once you get leaner, once you, you know, your, your hard work starts to show. And you just sort of have to ask yourself what you want to do. You know, it's nice to have it, but that's it. That's about it. Focus that time and energy into something that actually matters. Like a side hustle or a relationship, something meaningful, something that's actually going to shape your future, shape your life. I mean, instant gratification is the worst thing that you could sort of give into. So you're going to get attention. It's going to change everything about how you live, how you feel about yourself, everything. But the main thing that matters is you're happy with yourself, you're content with yourself, and you can't change who you are based on the attention that you're getting. Be the same person as you were when you started the fitness journey. You are going to be the same person, but with way more confidence. The last and final thing that has really changed everything, and it sort of ties in with everything that I've said before, is the amount of confidence that you have. You have insane amounts of confidence. And when I say attention, um, you do get attention from the way you look, but also a part of that comes from the confidence that you have with yourself. And that's what sort of, that, that's what you put out. It's all about how you feel with yourself. And I feel like the leaner that I've gotten, the more confident that I've gotten. And it's shown so much. And the more confident you are, people pick up on that. You don't even have to try. You just feel good about yourself. You feel more confident about yourself. Your confidence is through the roof. And of course you have to be humble. That's You're still the same person that started this fitness journey. But... It's nice to have that confidence. It's nice to feel good about yourself. To feel like you can do anything. You know, you can do anything that you set your mind to. That kind of confidence. It's not a bad thing. Your feet up aren't up in the sky. You're still humble, but you're confident that you can reach any goal that you set your mind to. And the confidence you get from looking good, the confidence you get from having abs, the confidence you get from having muscles, the physique that you're proud of, nothing can compare to that because you've put in the time, you've put in the effort into that. So confidence is a big thing. It's, it's the biggest thing that has changed with me. The way that I talk to people, the way that I act, I feel like I'm finally me. Like this is me, this is luxury, this is the best version of myself and I'm constantly looking for ways to improve myself through yoga, through meditation, through self-learning, self-improvement. I want to be the best version of myself that I can be, and I think everyone should. And confidence is a big, big thing in regards to that. If you're confident, that's a massive plus. That, that is a big deal. And true confidence comes from within True confidence comes from how you feel with yourself. If you feel good about yourself, you're going to feel confident about yourself. And that's going to translate to everything else in your life. Not just relationships, everything. Trust me on this, it translates to everything. I feel like I've become a new person, but I'm still the same person. It's a weird, it's like being put in a new body that you've always wanted. And everything's just changed. Still the same person. Life's just different. Your outlook on life is different. And out of everything that I've said today, I hope that this sort of motivates you to get started. Become leaner. Have a nice physique. Work towards having a good physique that you're happy with, that you're proud of, that makes you feel confident about yourself. Because it is a life-changing experience. Take it from me. It is. I don't know how else to put it. I, I st I'm still not used to this. I'm still not used to looking like this. I've put in the work for the past two years, but I'm not used to it. I'm not used to how different life is right now. And I'm still getting used to it. But it's fun. It is fun. Life is more fun now. And if you want to see how I got here, the kind of foods that I ate every single day to get my physique to look like this, you can click right here.